Welcome to Riverbend Talon on WBGZ. Brought to you by the Halpin Music Company. Another edition of Riverbend Talon on the Big Z. I'm Dennis and Pig Pen's running into the room. And it's brought to you by uh, <laughs> Matt Van Voorst of Macias Insurance and Halpin Music Company. Yeah, Matt Van Voorst has been insuring me longer than he's been sponsoring the show, but he's been with us about five years now and helping six years. That's pretty uh, pretty good. The show's only been six years, so. Well, Halpin's been there since the beginning. It'd been cool if we had like a seven-year sponsor for a six-year show. Because <laughs> that means we're owed money. <laughs> hey, the Acme Corporation has been sponsoring us for seven years. Oh, wait, we are owed money. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Sea Shanty sing is coming along already at Morrison's Irish Pub, and Nick DeWitt Buffano is uh, getting underway at the Post Commons in Alton. All right. Yeah. The Outsiders, uh, 7 o'clock at Fast Eddie's tonight, and open mic 9 o'clock at Raging Cajun in Alton. This show's called Ribbon Talent. Did I mention that? I, I don't did. think we did, but it's all right. Well, you were running down the hall. I think I said I was it. running down the hall. I was trying to get our, our live guest, Justin Level, uh, right. a water, but there, there was none to be found around here. That's so. okay. Yeah, no. You can drink some of that hand sanitizer if you want. It's, Catch a buzz? Yeah. It's, it's fine. It's fine. So there you go. Uh, oh, Mike over there closer to you, would you? Oh, yeah. There, exactly. we, go. there we go. There we go. Uh, that's, uh, that's the voice of Mr. Justin Level from the conservatory, from the mind frames, from the lighthouse studios, and distant probably eyes? much more. Not just an ice. Not, huh? Those uh, are my homies. What are, the other guys, what are the other bands you used to be in, though? There's lots of them. Oh, well, Jim and I, Hustler. I played with this guy in the Something sandwich band. Fears. Something Pierce. Healthy Fears. Healthy Fears. Oh, River City Fears. Sound. That's there the one I was go. trying to remember. Mm-hmm. Really, I just wanted to shout out Distant Eyes. Yeah. I just wanted to do that. <laughs> those are those are my boys. <laughs> so you had kids, and they had a band. Yeah. Oh, okay. They're your yeah. boys. <laughs> yeah. It's my boys. Those are my children, uh, actually. Yeah. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> You've done well. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, uh, so we we uh, we you were kind of blazing through the uh, the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Thursday thing the Thursday lineup, and I get it because it's six o'clock, and a lot of this stuff starts at six o'clock. But yeah. then we we sort of had an abrupt stop as we realized we started that show even more awkward than normally. Which that's not <laughs> yeah. possible. That <laughs> that's is impossible. not possible. <laughs> We've actually had the mics on for like three minutes and just ran around in the studio for a while you should watch some of the videos i i don't i'm embarrassed (laughs) to watch the videos people give me a lot of trouble about the videos apparently the intrusion well i i like to i heard this past week i heard from three different people that the intrusion one was was really good and that it was kind of uh we said some insane things i don't really remember what we said and i don't think i want to be reminded i know what i'm watching tonight when i get off work (laughs) i don't i don't even know what happened with it but uh, i do remember those guys were fun i remember i had a good time but yeah i think yeah it's all caught on video yeah i know it's embarrassing that's why i don't watch it no. Well, we haven't <laughs> caught up to is the open mic at Ever, with Everhart and Light at 6 o'clock at Baker's and Hale. That was the only one. Well, wait, Danny Callagher, 6 o'clock at Big Daddy's. There we I go. I think that's all the 6 o'clock ones. That's but, all the 6 o'clock ones. But at 7, right. w- which is coming up, and if you're going to get like all the way up to Jerseyville by 7, you'd need to right. be getting ready and going now. And you could go up there to George's local brew and see Graham Pagano, if, if that's what you're into. I don't know if that guy's any good or not, though. Or if you live in Jerseyville, you might be having a well, steak at George's local brewery. Hey, or a proper dirty martini. Only place in Jerseyville to get one, George's mm. local brew. All they right. should sponsor us all this talking for doing it right anyway. we got a whole list of people that could sponsor you mean they don't us, yeah. right no that you would think with all that talking but anyway uh, also uh 7 p.m up in edwardsville butch moore and the sundance kid that is at the corner tavern in edwardsville happening 7 to 10 p.m this evening one to go down in pontoon beach blues and grass seven o'clock a uh, nice nice i just saw josh grassley uh I don't oh. think that's Josh Grassley. That's blues. That's not blues and grass. Yeah, seems like something that Grassley no. would be into. He's usually Josh Grassley, Joshua Grassley, and friends. Grass and stone. That was the one I'm thinking. Yeah, of. yeah I remember those guys. guys. I used yeah. to. Eat, yeah, Josh. Yeah, and he, he, he. Some. I was gonna yeah. say. I feel like he's just gone under grass sometimes. So it seemed like that might have been him. I go under grass a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, I mow yards. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. 
I smoke pot too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who doesn't now? Yeah, it's right. freaking legal. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing uh, how still people go, what? I'm shocked that yeah. you said it. I, I, I didn't know this about you, and I don't know if we should be friends anymore. <laughs> right. Whoever decided to call it pot, though? I've always wondered that. That was, you There's know, so much, so many better names. Yeah, but it, it gives me a good, a good name for all the little holes when I burn in my shirt because I just call them potholes. No, <laughs> no one calls it tea anymore. Wow. <laughs> Back in the day, they called it tea. Yeah, you know why you, you, THC now they call <laughs> you know why they call it you know a dugout the little wooden thing that you put it in with the, the I do I don't do drugs you I don't know what you're talking about man. Okay, Dennis. You know the, the, the oh, dugout. I know what a dugout is. <laughs> see, Matter of well, fact, you know would... why they don't call it a pot holder? Are you, oh, see, I messed up the joke. For you Let, let's just move on. Let's get yeah. let's get back to what's you going know, on here. Work on the material a bit, <laughs> right? I, I got to work on my stand up act. Better. So there, there's a bat inside the dugout, uh, right? I did. So is. when when I was in high school, the secret code was let's play baseball. Absolutely. Right. So maybe that's what the rest of the joke is. The was? field green uh, or brown right now. See, there's hey. lots of codes yeah, to find out. You we don't could... have to worry about that no. anymore with dispensaries. It's all green. I think we should. <laughs> I still haven't been at all to a dispensary. <laughs> Me either. Yeah. Still I, calling I your still... corner junkie. No, I'm hey, just man. teasing. He's a well, that's bartender. That's where the deals are. That's where the deals are. He's a, he's a bartender. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's like hard to get away uh, from the bar. It, it's hard to get away from the bar. And if you do, all you get to do is walk down the street to Lighthouse Sounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't get to go much farther than that, do you? I don't really need to. Yeah. Did you just live in there at one of them by now? It seems like you should be. I should be, but, yeah. you know. It would be easier. I still like having my own space, the dog and everything, you know. But I'm there a lot. I have This week alone, I think I've been at the bar doing stuff, getting ready for this weekend. Yeah. Ready for 45, 50 hours. Yeah. 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 You so, and your get-rich-quick scheme of going to work every yeah. day. Yeah, okay, well... <laughs> We have one of the bands playing this weekend uh, as our guest yeah. in just a bit. Tanuki. Tanuki yeah. will be with us. That's what is it, about a half an hour interview I think we mm-hmm. did with him. So we'll get to them at the bottom of the hour. Uh, but we got these gigs to cover, and we're going to talk to Justin Level about what's been happening with the conservatory and what else other than Tanuki's is happening. Oh, it's a list. The, it's nice. With the not quite beautiful do it yourself festival. So it, it is quite the list, and, and that's happening this Saturday, right? That's right. Two stages? Two stages. You got one outdoor, one indoor? That's right. There you go. So uh, going to be a good time out at the conservatory. How many bands? 16. 16 bands, two stages, eight bands each stage, I imagine. That's right, right? yes. So there you go. Uh, what's the times on that? So it's from 2 to 10. We're going to open up the uh, the doors and the parking lot at 1, so you can come grab some food, hang out for a bit. Musical start at 2 o'clock. There you go. And, and uh, is all music stopping at 10, or is there going to be indoor music after 10? Yeah, we've got a um, an after party going on. Ooh. Yep, with nice. uh, our friend uh, Kev is coming in to DJ for us, so he's going to be playing a bunch of vinyl records, and it's going to be a banging time. Nice. What Definitely come nice? down if you can. What about Friday night? Anything going on except setting up? Yeah, we've got Diesel's Monster Mash. It's a, mm. it's a rap and hip hop show. There's eight there eight acts, I believe, and that starts at eight p.m. tomorrow. Eight wow. acts going on tomorrow night. That's, yes. Yeah. All right. So so as we as we roll into our Friday night, let's just start with that. Then let's go ahead and let let Justin tell yeah, us what the eight acts are that are I going on. I couldn't find anything on that unless it's brand new out. Uh, no, I don't have the list of people in front of me. This is uh, another promoter put have. this show ah, on. Me. That, and is that why it's not listed like on your Facebook or? Uh, it should be. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Could have missed it. We missed it somehow. We gotcha. got nothing at the conservatory on Friday, but there is a. It's the diesel. Monster. Monster, monster, yeah, it's a Halloween themed show. So costumes. There's going to be some food nice. involved. Yeah, and it's a hip hop show. That's right. Okay. Yep. I. Uh, there we go. There you go. So Update what else we news. got? What else we got going on on Friday night in the downtown Riverbend area and slightly beyond? And pianos are always going on at Raging Cajun on Friday and Saturday nights. Uh, champagne fix down at the uh, Ed in Alton. Fast Ed. Fast Eddies. Mad Bailey's, uh, 7 o'clock at the Lodge at Lovejoy in Alton. Bob Leon, 8 o'clock at Shea Maryland's in Alton. Gene Maynard, 7 to 10 at the uh, VFW in Alton. And then we move to Godfrey. 
right? Rogers, Rogers and Mean House, yes. 7 to 11 p.m. at Baker's and Hale out in Godfrey. Then Lazy Lester, 7 to 11 at Clifton Terrace and Godfrey. Mm. Uh, 7 to 10 p.m., J.J. Thermos at East Gate Plaza in East Alton, That's Illinois. the name of the place. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm just reading it. I don't even know what's going on here. I, I don't co- I, I cold read everything. I yeah. don't read it in advance. But I do like the name of this band, Colossal Wreck. There you go. 9 p.m. They're at Doc Holiday's. That's uh, Ray Kyle from Shows. Hooky. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's a good name. Money Shot, 8 o'clock at Martin's Tunes and Eats in Wood River. Flip Side, 7 o'clock at the Moose in Wood River. Mike Keller, 5 to 8 at Stagger Inn in Edwardsville. The Skylark Brothers at Big Daddy's nice. in Edwardsville from 6 to 9. Dave Contini at the Outlet at Edison's in Edwardsville. And here you go, the the Beer Fest. And Global uh, Brew Beer Fest. Well, I put that on there so that I could remind myself that that's where I found out about it on the Global Brew Fest website ah, give them go. a little shout out there and uh we got little known 11 a.m to 2 skylark brothers 2 30 to 5 30 and hunter hamilton 6 to 9 at the city park in edwardsville and i think global brew is helping with the uh brews there you go now now is that little known fact it might be okay i'm not sure a I lot of typing sure. goes into this list. I, that, that was a that was a big <laughs> one there and i thought well i think he just shortened that it's probably little known fact up in edwardsville because they're kind well, of from that area but i wasn't sure so that's why we put lists with links there we and go so just go to cottonmouth.org and you can check out any of this stuff by clicking on the links and find out more information or you can look in the description of the video which i can only fit so many in there yeah, they're so only allowed five thousand letters in uh, so also at Global Brew from 7 to 10, right. Dana Anderson. Mm-hmm. So there you go. A lot going on at Global Brew on Friday. And at Reese's Brew in Edwardsville, it's Quentin Boss at 6 o'clock. Kalani and Julie at the cabin at Judah Creek in Glen Carbon. Us and Bob, 9 o'clock at Patrick's in Granite City. The Southside Bluesy Boys, 7 o'clock at Elks in uh, Granite City. The Elks. Nice. Rock Bottom, 8-ish at Deutz Village Inn in Pontoon Beach. Isaiah Christian up at George's Local Brew on Friday. Dan Sproat at Aries Winery in Grafton. Boulder Dash Duo, 6.30 to 10.30 at Grafton Pub. Uh, Steve Mellis says his open mic at the uh, Hog Pit on Fridays. Power Trip has a gig. Nine o'clock at the corner keg in Highland. Been a while for the old power trip crew. And here goes Mike Judy again. <laughs> Hard working man, isn't he? He is, it? man. He's got the lax seven o'clock at Pops and Sage, and he's got Charlie Crockett, eight o'clock at uh, Red Flag in St. Louis. That's gonna be an awesome show. Yeah. yeah. I mean the, the Mike Judy is just he's been on top of oh, yeah. playing doing a couple of shows at uh at night sometimes and for a long so time too. Yeah. And then we also got my buddy Pat Liston, 7 p.m. at Turtle Creek in O'Fallon, Missouri. That's Friday. That is our Friday. There and you Saturday go. And Saturday is Festival Saturday. Fat, it is, in fact. And, and, and we've got Justin Level with us here from the Conservatory. He's going to let us know a little bit about the Not Quite Do-It-Yourself Festival. Why is it Not Quite Do-It-Yourself, man? Why don't they try harder? <laughs> you know, so the whole... First of all, I suck at coming up with names, <laughs> just period, for anything all the time. Um, so this, the the lineup of bands are, you know, some of these people I've been playing with for a long time, and we all come from essentially the same background. You know, a lot of the shows that we've had in general are all DIY shows at somebody's right. house and their basement, maybe a rec center. You know, the what we're doing Saturday, it's gonna be it's gonna be a great time. It's not going to be, you know, anything fancy. It's it's just a step above what you would see it, you know, just going out to somebody's property. It's, you know, it it's it's going to be nice to see, you know, bands like that are in this lineup here actually have a day dedicated to that scene because it just doesn't really happen a lot out here, you know. It's just in this region in general. Yeah, because this is these are all original acts. And, yeah. and and there are uh, other festivals that have that sort of thing i think bush fest this year was basically an, yeah, was an all original killer uh, yeah uh and and so that you know there are but but this is the sort of the uh younger i want to say 30 something house scene that that was popping back about five years ago it mm. seems like yeah that, that, that came out of what was it metal gears and uh the foxhole yeah. great memory and, yes uh, there yep. you go that's because uh, we've been talking about it for a few weeks for, now about how that whole scene has become broadway now 
Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, yeah. And, and we Pretty were much. covering that scene yeah. when it was house parties. We were on the radio talking about it and yep. laughing about how when we threw house parties, the whole thing was don't let anybody know. The cops are going to come for sure. Right. And, and here we were talking about this place that even had a name, Foxhole. And Metal Gears. These are just houses that are throwing house parties. It, it was uh, mm. pretty funny to us to see it how brought, it evolved from where we were at 20 yeah. years before yeah. that. <laughs> it was only house parties, and we didn't tell anybody. Absolutely. You didn't. And, you you no. tried to not let anybody know because you knew it was going to get overrun. Right. You know. Uh, That's kind of what you wanted, though, you know, at some of these shows. Unless you were packed like places, man. the 10 o'clock band, and then you didn't want it because you wasn't getting to play. Yeah, yeah you're going to get down. shut down, right. <laughs> That was my problem. We yeah. are always last. Put them uh, guys on last so everyone's out of here by the time they play. <laughs> it's always and either you, first or last. What is the deal? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Even today, though, you don't want to play last sometimes. No, so, you no. Know. Really, the, the yeah. middle, or, or, you know, like one or two before the end is, is kind of a sweet spot to be. But, yeah. Uh, I yeah. agree. So with, if you with, get last... Make sure you brag about being the headliner, though, because that's, that's the main thing you get to do when you're last. <laughs> right. <laughs> Take the title if you want it. I'd rather play in the middle, personally. Me too. <laughs> I agree. It probably speaks volumes about how good the bands I would have been in were, but it's always we were the sound check band or the clear the house out band. <laughs> One of the two. <laughs> you know? so, uh, so so tell us about this uh, this festival. How Let's talk about the bands that were in it. Who you got playing there? Oh, so headlining quote unquote headlining we've got lofty's comet you know those guys <laughs> have, they've been on our show with us uh hideous gentlemen biff and the reptilians on the show with us they have been on the show with us we've got the fade they have been on the show mm-hmm. with us we've got scissor scissor from oh, st louis now i i don't know if we've had them on the show but i believe i ran sound for them somewhere probably uh, anyway i remember the name scissor anyway go ahead what, Brown, who, yeah who really next? good daisy chain I, I have heard about them. I have heard that I need to see them, that they are really good. Very good. If you're if you're into that, that like 90s grunge kind of scene, is right that, up your alley. Is that what they're into? Yeah. I, I have yeah. no idea. That's the most I've heard from. Mm-hmm. I just heard from two different people. I, uh, what did they play? They played one of the festivals this summer. Uh, Bush Fest, I think, and I wasn't there. And I, was, or I wasn't there when they played. Right. And uh, yeah, I had, I had two people tell me when I got back, "Oh, you missed a good band." So, they're very, they're very good. Well, there you go. go. What else we got? All oh, right, hold uh, on, hold on. Let me guess. Sure, I'm, I'm going to miss it by just a couple letters. Bring me the fries. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Make mine seasoned and curlied up. <laughs> I can't stand you, man. <laughs> Bring me the fires. Who just played? Uh, this past Saturday at the conservatory. Yeah. Very good set from them. Pioneer Salesman. Oh, guys, yeah. Yeah, yep. you guys know those guys. Yep. Bastard and the Crows. Mm, and they've we been know on them. the show yeah. with us. Never Go Quietly. Don't I know promise those I won't. guys. I, I, I won't, but I so, don't know them. Uh, so the guitar player is uh, one of the engineers from Lighthouse. Very, very ah. talented band. Uh, kind of in the. Mr. St. Sin? Or? No, no, this is Caleb. Oh, Caleb, yeah. I have met Caleb. Yes, yeah, yes. He's a good guy. Yeah, they've uh, they've got more of a, like an alternative, heavier rock kind of thing going for him. Right on. Uh, Colt Season out of St. Louis, some metal oh. for you. Nico, I know you know those guys. Yeah, I know yep. Nico. And you gave me the correct, correct pronunciation on this next band. You're lucky. What, and what is it? <laughs> Tanukis. There you go, okay. And they, I, they're going to be our guests here in about 10 minutes or so. Uh, we got a, a, an interview that we recorded with them last week that we're going to play. Right on. Interesting uh, group of people, and I have not heard them, but I really want to, especially after talking to them. They, uh, they seem oh, yeah. like people I want to hear what they're doing. <laughs> well, you can see them on Saturday. Be sure there you you're go. there. Right on. Uh, we've got Into the Blue. We've got right. 86 Red and Bo Diamond. Okay, I know 86 Red, don't know Bo Diamond. They actually just jumped on. They played a set with us, I want to say, three or four weeks ago. And when they were done, I'm like, you know, I've got some extra room. If you guys want to jump on this, I wouldn't mind seeing you again. So they there jumped on go. and they're playing with us now. And that's Bo Diamond and 86 Red It was actually formerly Hive Mind. Yep. Oh, no kidding. Really? Yeah, yeah, they, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, there you go. They uh, We actually had them on our show, and I gave them uh, a little 
crap about it was so hard to look them up. There are so many things named Hive Mind. There's think tanks named Hive Mind. There's yep. a book named Hive Mind and a movie named Hive Mind. You know? Gotcha, yeah. And mm. uh, and so they changed their name to 86 Red, and I, I think they're the only one out there named that. So Let me double check here. Did you mention the fade? I did. He okay. Did. That was the only one I didn't catch you mention. I did. Cool. So there you go. That is the lineup for this Saturday night at the Conservatory, or Saturday day. It's going on 2 p.m. The music starts. Doors open at 1 p.m. What's the price to get in? It's going to be $20 in advance, 25 the day of. There you go. And how do people get their tickets in advance? So you can either come to us directly, give us a call. We'll take your payment over the phone. You can go to our Facebook page. We've got an event up for it, and there's an Eventbrite link in there, so you can order your tickets online if you'd rather do that. There you go. Go to the event. Not the uh, conservatory Facebook page, but the event page for it. Yeah, if you go to our the conservatory page, you right. can, you hit can the, see hit the events. events yes. Right. I'm just saying some people get confused. Oh, I, so I, I why got you. They pay here. Yeah. They said I could. Thank you for clarifying. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so if you go to the conservatory uh, Facebook page, hit the events tab, click on the event, the uh, not quite do it yourself festival. There, you'll be able to find the link to buy the tickets in advance and save five dollars. Uh, and and you got two stages: one outdoor, one indoor. Going to be bouncing back and forth. Oh. Uh, Yep, pretty much. There you go. So that's going to keep the music rolling all day. That's how you how you fit sixteen bands yeah. in. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, I this is the first time that I've uh, taken on something of this size. So it's going to be a time on Saturday. <laughs> I know you know what I'm talking about. I I, <laughs> I do know about the first time you take on something large. It's, Whoa! Uh, <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> well, what, You're getting canceled. I'm calling the FCC right now. I'm talking about a large festival, Mm -hmm. a very, very large festival. (laughs) So there you go. Uh, Listen, uh, Narc, you're biting your own butt there when you call the FCC on us because we won't announce your gigs anymore. We'll be in jail. Oh, well, that's a good point. All right. (laughs) All right. But I do you have, are a great negotiator, man. Oh, oh thank you. Yeah. Oh, you uh, should have seen it. He he negotiated his way through negotiation school. He should have failed that. And he, he's I'm, that good. I'm trying to negotiate a mention of your sponsors. Uh, the main stage sponsored by Grand Piasol Body Art outside, right? There you go. And the second stage sponsored by Alton Music Exchange inside and next door. That's right. Right. Yeah. That's that's our little block, yeah. our little group down there. Right so that's on. cool, man. The whole block getting together. Oh, yeah. Nice. It's almost a block party. It is. Almost, yeah. But just it, happening at one person's house. Just actually, everyone on the block's coming to your house for the party. I mean, right. Jacoby's is across the street, and they're having their second annual underground music showcase on Saturday. There you go. Who's going? Who's playing at that one? It's October. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't even know how to say some of these names because they're <laughs> abbreviations of, like, I don't know, internet stuff. Okay. Right? right. Like, NOA 22K. All right. Or is that Noah 22K? I, I, don't, I know. don't know. I know a 22K. And then. I'm not sure. Unknown turn. Okay, see. U N K W N N T E R N E T U S R. Yeah. So no. I'm feeling good. How about J Grip? I can handle that one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. J yeah. Grip. Yeah, Kids. Like... Kid Bands. That's with an a easy Z, one. I right? like that. Ooh, Scully. <laughs> I like that one. And Machadelic. <laughs> Machadelic. Right. That's that's nice. That's one whole band, I think. Uh, Ooh, Scully and Machadelic are ooh. two rappers, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I like the name, though. There you go. But that's happening at Jacoby's from 8 to 11. Right on. Yeah. And that's right across the street. There's all, there's so much going Man, on downtown. Block what are you going to do? Yeah. Saturday. What are you yeah. going to do? Also happening right down the road, oh, NGK. That's around the corner, kind well, of around the road. The yeah. There you go, NGK <laughs> at the lodge at the Lovejoy. Right. Uh, then we. Uh, Big George has been down to the conservatory, hasn't he? Uh, no, not since no. we've been open. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know you had Mondin in there. We for did a dinner thing. So yeah, yeah, that, that, the spaghetti uh, spaghetti dinner. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Very random, too. <laughs> that is a, is a wee bit random, but that's, well, that's pretty cool. what it was brought up. It's like, uh, we're going to do spaghetti and have <laughs> Mod in play. What? <laughs> okay. Awesome. It, it, yeah. That, it that turned sounds out to like be, a good night to me. Turned out to be a great night for everyone. So. I love spaghetti, and Mondine can play the heck out of a guitar. Yeah, he's he's pretty decent, I'd say. Right. Yeah. He can play a little more than the heck. 
crazy, right? Yeah, you're just being nice for a change. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh. what, what else we got going on? Matt, uh, Matt Collin and company. Okay. We'll 2 to it. 6 p.m. in Champaign Fix, 7.30 to 11.30 p.m. at Fast Eddie's a Bone Air. And then right down the road from the Bone Air is Chubby's. Yeah, and Nico's uh, playing twice that day. Yeah. Because they're, they're pl- playing at Chubby's, and they're also playing at the DIY Fest at the Conservatory. They play at 3 for that one, 3.05 mm-hmm. to 3.35, and then 6 to 10 at Chubby's. And there you go. Get a double dose of Nico. You and think they'll chubby. be pushing their stuff down the street on carts or something? I wild? think they will. Kind of like the monkeys. You know, right? oh, that would be awesome. <laughs> yeah, that would be cool. That's pretty wild. All right, what else we got going on? We got uh, pianos going at the Rage on Cajon. All right, River Bend Records first year anniversary. Nice. That kicks off at 10 a.m. with the uh, music starting at noon. 33 on the needle. Fireside at two. Yeah. Noble at four and five thirty. Joshua Grassley and Andrea Yotter. Yeah, that's happening. A year already, huh? I know it's amazing. Wow, <clears throat> time flies when you're having fun. Oh yeah. yes. So uh, then we got dueling pianos going on at Baker's and Hale from seven to eleven p.m. on Saturday evening. Yep, Kevin Gruen, 4 to 7 at Blue Stem Vodka and Meadowbrook slash Bethalto. Second shift, <laughs> 8 o'clock at Martin's Tunes and Eat. Well, you know, if you're searching, you have to. Know. It's crazy, but it's just how it is. Me. We know uh, it as Meadowbrook, which used right. to have a sign that said you're halfway around the world. Remember that? I do you remember dri- that. <laughs> Drive and I it. never really understood, like, halfway around the world from where? Like, yeah. from home? That was like, coming into Meadowbrook, I'm pretty yeah. sure, right? Yeah. From, uh, like, 55, out that way. Yeah. Right. Okay, anyways. Well, yeah. that, what else we got here? We got... Uh, did I say second uh, ship at sec- Martin's Tunes and Eats in you, Wood River? You did now. DJ Trico at the uh, franchise at 10 o'clock at night. Leslie and Scott, 4 to 8, and Joe Dirt, 9 p.m. at the uh, Pump House Ooh, in Wood nice. River. World Powerhouse Wrestling, the Combat Game, 7 <laughs> o'clock at the Susnig Center in Jersey Bell. Be there. Hey, that is good times, man. Oh, it is. A lot of a lot of smack talking going on at that place. Overhead Dog, 3 to 7 at Grafton Winery. Lefty Preacher Sampson, 2 to 6, <laughs> and Fireside, 6 to 10. They're doubling it up Saturday, they are. too. Yeah. Busy crew there. At the uh, Hog Pit in Grafton. Sular Blues Band, 2 o'clock at the Loading Dock. There's Mr. John Monded. All right. All right. Up in Grafton on and then Saturday. Sonic yeah. Tonic, 2 to 6, and Jake Weber and the Lonesome Drifters at the Grafton wow. Pub. Uh, John Jarrett at noon, and uh, Jim and Carl at 3 at Aries in uh, Grafton. The Hollow Wine Bash with Hookie, 6 to 10 at Wild Pickens Winery in Chesterfield on Saturday. Yeah, I've been up to a few of those. That's a good time up there. Yeah. Everybody dresses up, and the place goes crazy. Crazy. Crazy, I tell you. Scott Marlin, 2 o'clock at the Foundry in Edwardsville. Lefty uh, Daytona, 5 to 8 at Stagger Inn in Edwardsville. Beer Fest, here it is. 11, little known fact, 11 to 2. Skylark Brothers, 2.30 to 5.30. And Hunter Hamilton, 6 to 10 at City Park in Edwardsville. There you go. Mikey B, uh, 6 to 9 <laughs> at Big Daddy's. Uh, Mr. Blue Sky, that's an ELO tribute. Ooh. Two shows at the Wild East Theater on Saturday, one at 3, the other at 8. All right. Worth the fight, 9 o'clock at the Back Bar in Edwardsville. Dustin Coleman, 6 to 10 at the Wooden Nickel in Glen Carbon. The Glendale Riders are uh, doing a grand opening at a place called Edley's Barbecue in Glen Carbon, 7 to 10 for that. All right. Lickety Split, <laughs> 8 o'clock at Patrick's in Granite City. Rock Bottom back at Joyce on Saturday, <laughs> right? Truckers, 4 o'clock at Prairie Inn in Dorsey. Nashville recording artist Brandon Ray with full band. Uh, and guest Jordan Sutter at the uh, barn, barn in Marine. Jay Christopher, the world's most dangerous one-man band, 6.30 to 10.30 at the Canton Inn in Hillsboro. And wow. uh, over at the Long Shot Saloon, they're having a music band audition from noon to 6. Okay. Looking for solo acts, duos, and trios, small bands, at the Long Shot Saloon in Portage de Sioux. You can call this number, 799-9597, or send a text with a time slot you prefer. That ought to work out. And then show up. Wow, nice. That's a 618 area code, by the way. 
Yeah, so if you're if you got a solo duo or trio or even you know, some kind of small band that could fit in a small area, I think is what they're looking for. And probably not too loud would probably be another thing they're looking for there. Yeah, I think uh, that's uh, for the in- inside. Inside, spot. Exactly. right? Yeah, because they're moving all their bands from across to right. the uh, other place they have at the Tiki, right into the Long Shot Saloon. That's why we got confused the other day because there you it's go. the same owner. Ah, they're just places. right, right yeah, by yeah. each other. There yeah. you go. So that is our Saturday night in the Riverbend area, man. Uh, so there you go. So and, and, speaking and, of open mics, how's the open mic going on at the uh, conservatory? You know, it was going great, and then it was not going that great. So Uh-oh. we're gonna we're gonna take a step back, let it breathe for a little bit, reevaluate. Uh-huh. I think we're gonna come back with some fresh ideas and. Uh, Maybe, you know, think about getting a house band in there. Yeah. And, you know, that, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. If you've, if you've got a, a back line in a house band, it, I don't know why, but people you know, seem it, to dig that for some reason. Because a, a lot of the solo people don't have the chance to have anyone back them up if they don't have yeah. a band. Right, right. And, you know, I it's hard, to, it's hard to say what exactly was going on with that, but it just seemed at one point I think people started to – feel like their music wasn't going to connect with the crowd. So, like, for example, there would be a band playing, and then somebody would come in and want to do an acoustic set, but they're like, yeah, well, this band just played, and I don't really want to go up there and bring the mood down. And, you know, so it's, you know, it's just trying to get everybody to understand, like, open mic is for everybody to express themselves, so we all got to do it together. Or possibly to audition for a future gig. Hey, you know what? Exactly. I've, there have been plenty of yep. people that I've hired from that. Like, if you can come back on a Friday or Saturday and do that, I'll pay you guys. You know? Yeah. You know, speaking of the future, you know what's about to get back underway at Halpin Music Company, uh, Pigpen? Uh, it's a kid's rock. That's right. <laughs> That's a great one. The, the post, uh, you know, what happened thing. Yeah. Uh, they haven't done it for a while, so they're getting back on it. Kids rock at Halpin Music, and you got to get in there by uh, November 2nd, I believe, is the cutoff. And what's the age limit on that? Oh, it's tiny. Yeah, I was going to say. It's, Just it's, check out the Halpin Music uh, either website or their Facebook page. All it is for right little there. kids, and they, they put them in bands together. They teach them to play multiple instruments and then form bands. And before the uh, class is over, you get to, at the end of it, they have a performance where all the bands play for the parents and and grandparents and the, and the thousands of people that just come and, and pay the ticket price to see what's going to happen. <laughs> I, I don't know if that part's true. But <laughs> Most the of their of kids it. have the gra- have their grade one though. Well, I, I didn't. So, get, I, mean, I didn't get my grade one. Yeah, so you wouldn't be able to participate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, all right, I told well, you I was a funny one, but no one believes me. Uh, I, I, oh, you're you're funnier than most. Uh, let's uh, thanks. <laughs> let's let's get to the uh, let's get through our Sunday because we got a, an interview oh, with Tanuki. We're which, gonna do that. We're gonna find out what a Tanuki is in this oh, interview. Man, it's gonna get it's exciting. It's gonna get very Japanese in here. Justin Level is gonna find out what a Tanuki is. Now he's not I, gonna listen. I can't wait. Can I want to tell him so bad. Don't tell him. Don't it, do it. It's gonna believe be. me, you want to know. Okay. You'll never forget it once you find out. You'll okay. Re- you'll remember. Yeah. Forever. Right. You'll remember. Forever. Forever. I can't. I'm really, On really your deathbed, you're going to go, now. Tanuki. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about all I can give that. you a hint. It involves shape-shifting. That's just a small hint, though. And the, large scrotums. Oh, no. <laughs> that's the big hint. That's the big hint. See how you didn't forget that? I told you you'd never forget. Now, the the real interesting thing is why. That's what we're not going to tell. All right. All right. All right. I got to listen to this interview now. <laughs> all right. Let's do our Sunday. Sunday, uh, Grand October Band. 24th. Grand Band. Grand 3 Band. to 7 at Chubby's. Go Grand get yourself Band. a Chubby Burger at Grand Chubby's Band. in Alton. <laughs> then we got Cross the Line Acoustic 1 to 5 p.m. And the Trucker 6 to 10 p.m. at Fast Eddie's Bone Air in Alton. Laney and Julie 2 to 6 p.m. at Locks Brick House in Bethalto. Then we got Shell Shack That's 3 to 7. Mm-hmm. Uh, 3 to 7 p.m. at Martin's Tunes and Eats in Wood River. Which one's the open mic? The Shell Shack. It's oh, kind okay. of the name of the open mic. Ah, I gotcha. Put it gotcha. on there because we say it every week. But well, then anyways. the Big Deal Band's going to be one to five p.m. at the Hog Pit in Grafton, right down the road at Grafton Winery. We got Scott and Carl two to six p.m. and then the Yacht Rockers two p.m. at the Loading Dock in Grafton. Mm-hmm. Uh, st- sticking with Grafton, we got Jim on Keys, 1 to 5 p.m. at Grafton Pub, and then Dan Sprout, 1 to 5 p.m. at Aries in Grafton. That is a 
lot going on in that little river town. Mm, still smoking up at uh, Wild Pickens in Chesterfield from 2 to 6. Open mic with Butch Moore, 6 to 10 at the Stagger Inn in Edwardsville. Corey Evitz at Big Daddy's from 4 to 7. Uh, Pele, 1 o'clock at the old Herald Brewery in Collinsville. Scott and Michelle, 3 to 6. And then the uh, Crazy Karaoke at 7 o'clock at Deutz Village Inn in Pontoon <laughs> Beach. Scott Marlin, 4 to 7 at Unwind Lounge in Highland. And let's see, another Mike Judy here. Ooh, Noga Arez, Kids Tour, 8 o'clock at Off-Broadway in St. Louis. There you go. That is a lot going on in the Riverbend area and slightly out, possibly. And uh, we're getting ready to talk to a band called Tanukis, and they uh, are going to be playing at the Not Quite Do It Yourself Festival at the Conservatory this Saturday. Starts 2 p.m. Uh, doors open at 1 and uh man so what what else yeah. you got going on out there anything uh anything exciting going on at the conservatory other than the do-it-yourself festival oh we've been running karaoke every sunday that's starting to be a really great time see how that works yeah we've got a we've got a pretty stacked november so far december starting to fill up so things are starting to get on the right track as far as getting more people to come out and play you know nice hopefully we get through the winter and we don't have to go through all that stuff again but that's hopeful thinking, right? That's right. I love yeah. how you just ignore what it was. Yeah, that, yeah. Because if you don't talk about it, right? That's it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's don't our, talk about it. It's the best way to go. I'm sorry. What are we talking? No, about? Right, we yeah, don't, we don't even know. Uh, hey, though, I wanted to mention though that you said something about maybe an open mic where you had a band, you know, that's already set up and does it every mm-hmm. week. That's what Shell Shack is. There you I go. just wanted to kind of point that out because it kind of flew, flew through it and uh let's go over the lineup once again the main stage sponsored by grand piasol body art is outside it starts at 2 to 250 with into the blue 305 nico 350 never go quietly 445 pioneer salesman 545 bring me the fires almost did it <laughs> <laughs> i almost got you <laughs> bring me the fries yeah <laughs> 645 uh, The Fade, 745 Biff Gnarly and the Reptilians, 9 o'clock Lofty's Comet. That's all on the uh, outside stage. And then the second stage, sponsored by Alton Music Exchange, starts at 2 o'clock with Tanuki, coming up in just a bit here on River Bend Talent. 245 86 of Red, 325 Bo Diamond, 415 Bastard and the Crows, 515 Cult Season, and 615 Sisser. 715 Daisy Chain and 815, the guy that owns Alton Music Exchange, right? Hideous Gentleman. That's right. Which I believe they have something brand new coming out. So probably playing new material. I know they've been in the studio. There you go. I listened to an yeah. interview with them recently, and uh, that's sounding pretty exciting. Awesome. So new stuff from them. There you go. That is called the Not Quite Do It Yourself Festival. Uh, the first festival you say you've uh, put together of this It is, size. yes. So there you go. Well, yeah. good luck with that. It's a Thanks. a lot of work. Oh, I uh, can just, see that. Yeah. Just wrangling this many musicians is like herding gnats. <laughs> you know, it's <laughs> it's impossible. Yeah. Uh, next to impossible. So uh, best of luck to you. That is October twenty third, starting at two p.m. down at the uh, conservatory. We are now going to go to the interview with yeah. one of the bands playing there. We will. I found these people to be very interesting. I do want to mention Matt Van Boris from Macias Insurance once again. Oh, I want to mention him yeah, so good. Yeah, let's mention him. Oh, I want to mention him slow and sultry. Yeah. Oh, Matt Van Forest. Thank you for your sponsorship. Yummy, 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 yummy. <laughs> Look, Justin Lovell looks yeah. a little freaked out all of a sudden. He's, he's I like, don't think he's, he looks freaked out. He's like, here's this crap again they do. <laughs> <laughs> that's more That's more what I was thinking. I, I, I was actually, what I was reading in his eyes was more like, why would this guy sponsor you when you do this to him? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Our third sponsor is Michael Kreider Farmers Insurance. That's why they sponsor us. They know we need insurance. <laughs> they know we need I'm, it. I'm yeah. almost uninsurable. Some people <laughs> threaten to call the FCC on us. Well, you Apparently, know. Apparently, you know. It's, it is weird how that would happen. And if I ever find out who that guy was, I am, oh, I'm going to kick him in his tanuki no, yeah I, I don't <laughs> still excited to find out what this means <laughs> all right so, well let's, so let's get into it. it yes here we go and play river bend talent on the big z i'm dennis pig pen with me and we're talking to tanuki 
which is ah tanuki. Yes, very so. Yes, uh, asone. Tanuki. Yes, yeah, yeah, the S is actually pronounced tanukis. Tanukis. There's, there's multiple tanukis. Ah. Plural. But tanukai would be one. Yeah, I, well, I actually, I think so, it's actually like in Japanese you don't pronounce the S and it's still plural, but we thought right. it was kind of funny to just do that. Yeah, anyway. we're like the Americanized version yeah, of the like, word. The, <laughs> like the shitty American. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, especially yeah. if you know how we came up with the name, it kind of backs that up too. So it's kind of funny. You are correct about not pronouncing the S though. I actually speak Japanese. I lived there for a while. And Tanuki yeah. is a shape-shifting raccoon dog with a large scrotum <laughs> used as a drum and a weapon. Yeah. Even parachutes. Yeah. Sometimes I've seen some parachutes, fishing net. There's all kinds of stuff I've seen. Paintings that used for. That would be a weapon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to parachute down with a weapon. And where does it loincloth also i don't know it's it sounds like a multi-use uh large scrotum animal so there you go do, do yeah. they use the scrotum as the, as the parachute or that's 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 pretty insane to think about i'm, I'm gonna need a minute to digest that in a few minutes on the internet too uh, scrub my browser when i'm done uh, all right it's a trickster too so beware I don't know. A prankster or a trickster? Well, They're the same almost, but not exactly. Before there were pranksters, there were tricksters. Right. Like Loki and the Tanuki. The Tanuki, which is Tanuki. <laughs> so we, are ta- we haven't even introduced him yet. I, I, I <laughs> right, don't know yeah. what's going on here. Did we mention that we're sponsored by Halpin Music and by Matt Van Voorst of the CS Insurance? I think we were supposed to mention that. Yeah, we did probably there mention you. that already. All right, you well, in remember. case we hadn't, uh, let's introduce the uh, Tanukis. We got Bryce. Sever? Sever. Yep. Sever? I don't know. Sever. You're good. Sever your Sever, dude. <laughs> that's it's, happened to me my whole life. You're good. Uh, you are the lead guitarist. <laughs> mm-hmm. And that's all you do. Yep. Like I said, I play, play guitar and make noise. That's about it. I, I, Sometimes I, I, you can't tell the difference. but. <laughs> <laughs> I like the, uh, I haven't seen you play, but I like the talking about how many pedals and effects you <laughs> use and loopers and, and flipping it around backwards. Yeah. And uh, that's all. Anything twisted and psychedelic is cool to me. You'd like us then, I think. Uh, if, if you're <laughs> twisted and psychedelic, I'm already into it. There you go. Uh, so there you go, Bryce. Uh, next to Bryce is Stroud. Hello, Stroud. Lean into the mics a little bit so I can make sure I hear you. Hello. What up? What up? What up, <laughs> Stroud? Now, Stroud is a self-taught drummer, and, and she is uh, not a jazz drummer, I found out, because I accused her of that, and she's... <laughs> She's all genres drummer. All genres. She is an all genre drummer, but not only that, she's a multi instrumentalist. You play guitar, you play bass. Yeah, guitar, bass, ukulele, piano. Ukulele, piano, man, ukulele. Uh, I, I, and didgeridoo. We discussed right. didgeridoo. this. Didgeridoo. She got a little dirty talking about it. I'm not going to tell you, man. The, the girl's, she's got a, a mouth on her. Anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry, Stroud. <laughs> Thanks to Stroud, we've got Jonah. Uh, Jonah Wiggenhorn? Horn? Wiggenhorn. Wiggenhorn. I, I swear that's made up, but that's fine. It might be. <laughs> Yo, w- 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 Wiggenhorn? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, you play a horn? No, actually, I don't play any wind instruments. You play no wind instruments, but you are uh, also a multi-instrumentalist. You play guitar, bass, drums, play keyboard. Uh, a little bit of piano, yeah. I'm not very good at piano. Mainly, actually, I'd consider bass to be my main instrument. Right on. But uh, in this band, I play a lot of guitar, play some drums. Yeah. But in the future, we'll probably switch it up even more. Yeah. Once you get a big enough jam space to... How's the switching? That's, that's like my problem. A lot of I just need a bigger room and more yeah, instruments. Once we get a bus. And more, pe- <laughs> and more people we can delegate to different instruments. Yeah. <laughs> I see an earth, wind, and fire thing going on. Yes. You guys are going to have like yeah. 20. Yes. Or funkadelic, better yet. You have like 20 it, people. That would be very happy. Yeah, yeah that, would, that, that would be cool. Yeah, yeah man. Are you a big uh, uh, George Clinton fan? George Clinton. George Clinton from, from Parliament. Parliament. Yeah, Parliament. Yeah, Parliament. Yeah, Parliament. Yeah, they always yeah. have like 20, 30 guys on stage <laughs> when you see them. And they'll play for four or five hours because awesome. they take breaks whenever they want. There's so many people on stage. It's like, oh, <laughs> that's someone else's turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like crazy shows to see. And the mothership lands. Oh. Anyway, uh, uh, back to the Tanukis. I'm sorry. George Clinton's pretty cool, though. <laughs> anyway, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So uh, you you are uh, Jonah. You're you're mainly guitarist in this band. You say, but but you play all sorts of instruments, and you, you play in another band called Mo Tempo. 
Yeah, there's a jazz band, St. Louis-based, Mo Tempo. Uh, we're playing a gig like this weekend, but after that we're probably not going to play for a while. We're going to be practicing a lot, trying to uh, get better. <laughs> I like that. We're going to be practicing, trying to, uh, why don't we practice again? Uh, get better. <laughs> yeah, but next year, next year we'll probably be back out on the scene playing at your local Evangelines. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I, I, I made a joke there, like you couldn't practice for any other reason. Usually I have a band practice to get wasted. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> it's just an excuse. <laughs> That's why I never get better, though. So you guys actually practice. That's pretty uh, They're also like switching idea. up the members. Like I'm joining. I'm going to be one of the lead vocalists in the band. On, on Mo Tempo? Yeah, on Mo Tempo. Real, so you're a vocalist also? Yeah. She has a lot of solo stuff too. She is the whole package here. I would say. I want to get to know you more. <laughs> Singing I, is my main <laughs> instrument. I would yeah. say. Yeah, your vo your your voice. I'm is mainly your main a singer. Instrument. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. See, Pigpen missed the performance at, Bo at Bush Fest. You oh, came yeah. on Saturday. I seen you guys though. On, I, I on was Friday. I was at this year. I was there on yeah. Friday to set up the PA and lights. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and. and and they went I too far to tear the PA and lights down <laughs> that night. I forgot what happened. It was one of the first bands on the on the main stage. I yeah, think. we yeah. were the first band. Yeah. We, we started it. up the party. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, she started out on drums, what I seen, right? Mm -hmm. And then eventually moved, and he went to drums. And you just stood there playing with stuff. I didn't even stand there. I <laughs> sat there, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. He didn't. I, okay, so uh, let's let's get that joke out of the way for all the people in radio land who can't see, and even the, the people watching on the internet who can't see what's going on under the counter. <laughs> uh, Bryce here is uh, got a, a boot on his right foot, uh, claiming he has a torn Achilles heel. Of course, a lot of us know the Achilles heel is just a myth. It's not even real. <laughs> It's like the human soul. Yeah, you can dissect the body a million times. I'll never find one. No, I don't know if any of this stuff is true. Anyway, you've got a torn Achilles heel. How, how in the world? Give us a good story. Come on. Think about like it. I said, I've got to come up with something, you know, saved a bus full of kids from drowning or something. But I was walking, and I thought someone threw a brick at me, and I turned around. There was no brick. I just, no, I couldn't walk, so. I have no good story. I guess they just pop sometimes. The only reason I even knew what it was was I have an uncle that is an orthopedic surgeon, and he said that runners will think someone kicked them really hard in the leg, and then that's their Achilles they tore it. So, yeah, And so. That, that, that's, a, I would say, a tough break, but a tough tear, I <laughs> yeah. guess, right? Yeah, it's like six six months to a year before you really... Tougher all, than all the any way. of the gay porno sports <laughs> journalists have to pay off his gambling debts at the Bellagio. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm giving you my own backstory here. <laughs> Is that not who you are? <laughs> I'm sorry, if I start making things up about you, you can correct me. But yeah, we're going to probably do a fun not, story. It adds to the mystique. <laughs> yeah, exactly. See, I like you, Joni. You're all right. He rolls with the punches. So, so, so there you go. A, a torn Achilles heel. Now you got a big boot on your foot. That's why you were sitting at the show. Yeah. And, and uh, pedal work, we brought that up. Uh, a little tough with the boot. No, it's not too bad. I mean, it's I don't do like he was talking about. I don't do a bunch of wah stuff or anything very, too interactive. I just got to turn it on, and turn it off. So do I managed. I've I got lots of practice. Any? Yeah, I thought about it. Maybe maybe someday, but at some point, it's just there's not enough space. Right. <laughs> well, you do you do have a Digitech win. Yeah, you, yeah. yeah. I've got a whammy and a wah. I like to stand on both of them <laughs> at the same time, and, and and people say I shouldn't, but whatever. I'd like to see that. That's pretty yeah. good. Yeah. I, I Oh, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm usually pretty drunk. <laughs> but, I, uh, yeah, so there you go. He's got a torn, Bryce has a torn Achilles heel doing his show sitting down. So there you go. Uh, you guys started, you, you sort of started the band, right? Yeah, I don't sort of, like Jonah said that being modest. Um, so basically, Jonah had, has, he writes lots of music just because he kind of, I don't know if you said that was kind of your therapy instead of... <laughs> this is a real therapy. <laughs> yeah. He makes music for real therapy. Yeah, exactly. I think that was even a song, wasn't it? Do you know a song uh, title? It was an album I put out that was called, uh, called Music as Therapy. Yeah. yeah, but he plays all the instruments on them, and the way I really found him was he made a music video to one of his songs, and a friend of mine, a relative of mine, showed it to me. I was like, that's pretty cool. And I wasn't playing with anyone at the time. It had been a long time since I'd been in a band, so I just... I messaged him, I was like, hey man, if you're not playing anything, we should get together, and then we started jamming, and he sent me some demos, and the rest is history, we've been playing, me and him have been playing about a year, probably yeah. a little over a year. I was uh, I was writing a lot of uh, demos, like instrumental demos at the time, whenever he hit me up, and that was, a lot of that stuff ended up being, like, our set list. Nice. Pretty cool. Like, it yeah. just, like, those demos, like, developed and developed, 
and then like developed a lot more whenever we got Stroud. Yeah. So the pandemic was good in that way. I mean, we couldn't really play shows, so we just kept practicing. We didn't really, I mean, might have helped to play shows to get ready for him, but we just practiced, practiced, and really got our songs ready. And then by the time Stroud was ready to play, it was, they were kind of, most of them were pretty well crafted, I think. So tell us about this video that he's seen. What's it called and <laughs> how can we find it? Uh, yeah, so if you go on YouTube and type in Jonah Thomas Worm, then you'll find it. It's pretty cool. I made it a couple of years ago. I knew Wig and Horn was made up. Now it's Jonah <laughs> Thomas. See, this dude is No, no, no. Was his stage no, no, no. Name. <laughs> Jonah Thomas is the made up like stage name. Oh, come on. Because uh, before, before we started this band, I was like, well, I don't have any friends, so I'm just going to make my own <laughs> solo projects. And one of them, I was like, I was like basically making music under different pseudonyms. And uh, I wanted to make one that was like more personal to me, but I still didn't want to make it my actual real name in case I said anything incriminating in the songs. <laughs> <laughs> A degree of separation. Huh? Yeah, exactly. You can, you can do that degree of separation all day long. Look, it's art, man, you know. You, you, can, you can do blow off a prostitute's butt on TV <laughs> because it's art, right? Yeah, you but know, I, I, mean, I, I also just, need to have, like, I need to be able to get a job and things like that. <sighs> yeah. You and your get-rich-quick <laughs> I'm going to work every day for the rest of your life. Yeah, yeah. Good luck with that. No, <laughs> so, so there you go. So so you were going, you got a cool name like Jonah Wiggenhorn, and, and, and instead you're like, I'm going to be Jonah Thomas like the bagels. Or something. <laughs> I yeah, know. I also thought it would be, like, easier for people to remember Oh. Or something. Actually, probably the opposite is yeah, true. I was going to say, wig and horn really, <laughs> you know, good. sticks out to me. So I, I would stick with that. I, I so the song was called Worm? Yeah, yeah. Right. Do you guys play that song? We want to play that song. Oh, okay. We aspire to add that to the set. Yeah, we kind of want to play it. It's like logistically would be kind of hard to play right now with our current setup. Yeah, when we have a bass player or someone else need, need a couple more members yeah it's got some layers that need to be accounted for in the song that we, we mainly yeah if we have a bass player we could do it we've got a looper yeah i was gonna say loop the bass <laughs> loop the and bass, then take man. the guitar yeah. come on what are you kids we're working doing? on it we're working on it <laughs> <laughs> all right it's like way cooler answer. to see a three-piece pull that off yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I always just kind of thought that we were the next phase too like that's his and this all the rest of us this has been ours kind of yeah, which I, I'm, I think I'm fine with that as well. Like, I don't want to just, like, play it. I would rather move forward, you know, than, like, yeah. play songs that I wrote, like, by myself, like, yeah. a few years ago. Things like that. I get that. But it's a legendary song. It's a great though. song, though. It is, it is kind of a classic at this yeah, point. It should Certified be. classic. It, was, it should be in the band. It was sort of famous around with Alto. It was, yeah, it was, <laughs> like, sort of famous. It was, that song was. Yeah, yeah, like. In the 80s, it was huge. People were doing <laughs> the all the time. It was part of the whole breakdance phenomenon, man. <laughs> He may do the worm. <laughs> you, you don't remember that? that yeah, was, yeah, that was me. <laughs> I you, pioneered that. You are <laughs> before a he was trailblazer, born. my friend. So uh, tell us how Stroud got in the band. We were up to that point. Uh, yeah, so uh, uh, we mentioned Mo Tempo, the jazz band earlier. <laughs> so the the sax player and the band leader of Mo Tempo is uh, a guy named Z, and uh, he had a birthday party at his house, and. Uh, we were doing some like live music at this birthday party, and one of the sets was like basically the pianist from Mo Tempo put together a set of like some of his original music with like just uh, some of his friends like uh, as like the backing band more or less. And so he asked me to play bass and asked Stroud to play drums. So me and Stroud basically our first time meeting was playing songs that we'd rehearsed separately <laughs> <laughs> at like a house show sort of situation it, that's, that's cool. a good way to get to know something <laughs> yeah it's a good, yeah, it's a good really start cool. <laughs> i mean you know you I, yeah, I better shut up i was gonna talk about yeah you know, make it on mushrooms the only way to make it but i don't, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know <laughs> Yeah. Well, yeah, well, that, that that, we we also get, were on mushrooms. <laughs> see, now we're getting somewhere. I knew it. I pick up on these things. Uh, no, that, that's a uh, seriously. That's uh, that is a cool way to meet someone. Uh, to just like be thrown in together in a jam situation yeah. because uh, you know either that or playing poker. Either way, you get to know someone <laughs> quick. Yeah. Anyway, so there you go. And now Stroud, you you were playing drums at that time. Yeah, I've actually only been playing drums for like three years. I've. Uh, I was kind of new to it, and I was looking to be the actual like drummer in a project, and so they were just the first ones that actually like asked me to do that. So they're like, they had a drummer didn't work out, and I was just like, well, I'm down to try to be your drummer, and so <laughs> we 
I just showed up to rehearse and it pretty much just worked out. Yeah, and then they heard you sing and they're like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, Bryce knew that I was a singer too. I think from social media and stuff, you had seen. Yeah, I tried to get her to jam like yeah, he a couple had, years ago. That was the crazy didn't. thing was he had reached out to me to jam like maybe a year or two prior. Mm -hmm. And then like it would just like we never got back in touch. Like I just forgot. And then when I showed up, to his house to rehearse to be in the Tanukis, he was like, oh, we actually oh, I know, I know we had actually messaged each other before, yeah, like, I know who you are. I was like, what? <laughs> I know of you, I guess I shouldn't say I, know, I knew of you. Yeah, so it kind of felt like destiny that we ended up jamming. Um, she plays out a lot. She plays a lot of, like, yeah. open mics and, like, I don't know, a lot of... Yeah, like, I pretty much artists. was, like, almost famous at the Stagger and open mic. <laughs> I was, yeah, like, okay. pretty much playing there all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Butch is great. Yeah, I yeah. still play with him, and, yeah. And now you guys got a whole album written together. Yeah, it's a whole. Yeah, probably that and some. We're never on. We always have lots of material because all of us write somewhat. Yeah, we're always developing. Especially them two. Stuff. We don't really use much of my material, but those two are always. <laughs> 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 Which I, I'm fine with that. I, I was in bands for years where it's like I felt like I had to do no, everything. No, you, you can let it out, dude. You seem a little ticked off. <laughs> no, 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 tell them about it. This no, is the place, I, man. That's what I told them the first thing. I was like, I'm happy to never write anything just to play guitar. Like, that's. As your bands pass, I had to write everything and then like write people's parts and stuff, and that was old. I like being in this band where everyone can carry their weight. It's refreshing. Uh, I was just trying to get a band. <laughs> we've had a few band fights on this show, and I thought, well, oh, if we really? could get one, that'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah. no, I know. We've had a lot of band meetings happen. We're in the middle of our live show, we'll be in the middle of a live show, and bands just start having meetings about practice. It's like, hey, yeah. I mean, I don't really remember what we're doing here either. But <laughs> can I jam with you guys? <laughs> anyway. Uh, so there you go. So, so you're getting ready to start recording this album, uh, correct? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're hoping to record in the next month or two. Um, At an unknown location. It's on the, it's a big secret project, I think. Yeah, mm. it's, it's not that feet. secret, but... I don't think it's that secret. What, where are you going to record? Uh, right now, we're planning on recording at Bird Cloud Recordings in Collinsville. With Ryan Wasabi. Ryan, right. Ryan Wasoba. <laughs> <laughs> We're stuck in Japan, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wasabi! Now, now, record Tanukis! <laughs> Shout out, Melvin. long time! Yeah, I hope, he, I hope he hears us and then does that when we get there. That'd be yeah. awesome. <laughs> oh, he, he, if he does, and I'd fire him immediately. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Uh, so there you go. Uh, got a start date on that set yet, or just still working on it? On recording? Oh, yeah. Got a start date set. Well, you, you, it's funny you mentioned having band meetings uh, during... <laughs> recording yeah. or whatever because uh, I was wondering if you heard back from Ryan. <laughs> I haven't actually I haven't heard back. Ryan's like we're waiting for him to hit us up again with uh, the actual dates so he's available. See we so. didn't get a band fight but we got a band <laughs> meeting out of Yeah time. so that's so the update go. guys. <laughs> <laughs> now, in the meantime though you guys are playing a show this coming weekend at the uh, conservatory. Yeah. Yep. Uh, the not quite DIY fest. Yes. And uh, man, what a list of great bands going to be playing. The Fade, Fifth Gnarly and the Reptilians, Never wow. Go Quietly, Hideous Gentleman, Sisser, Lofty's Comet, Daisy Chain, Nico, Bring Me the Fires, Faster and the Crows, Pioneer Salesman, Cold Season, Tanukas. Tanukis! Yeah. <laughs> Into the Blue, 86 Red, and Bo Diamond. Wow. It's yeah, all right the conservatory. It's, it's neat. There's a lot of bands just right here in Alton right now that are playing all the time and putting out good stuff. And that's all original material there. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. It is nice to see it. And a lot of, uh, to, like, what we would consider young bands there. You yeah. Know, though, those are not the... Uh, it, uh, we've talked about it. There was a big lull in this area where when we were growing up, everybody was in a band. Mm -hmm. And then for a few, like, I don't know, for five or six years, ten years, it was like kids just played the rock band on... Mm. video games or whatever there was no, no, nobody was playing yeah, music live you know and yeah. suddenly there's an explosion of of young like uh what those kids that we uh we had on tonight our last night the intrusion uh they were what 19 20 you know mm -hmm. uh so lo love to see the young 20s and 30s getting out and making music and that much original music from the young bands is, is pretty it's impressive cool. it's awesome yeah. Yeah, and this is kind of a cross too because like Biff gnarly's been around for a while so he's getting up there in age Right. Yeah. Oh, he's an old man. The original, now. original house we parties. Take, around we should here. take up a collection and buy him a watch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you know, some of these bands now been around for a while, and then mixed in some uh, younger bands as well with that. So, uh, and, you know, because we talked about this uh, scene of uh, around here that had the house parties. Now they got 
venues and yeah. studios. Yeah. Oh. So that's pretty cool. Absolutely. Moving up from the house parties. And you guys are like coming out of the house parties, moving into this scene. So I think you guys are on your way, man. You'll be opening so. for Melt Banana in Japan. <laughs> yeah, that's Melt the goal. The banana. That would be a dream. Yeah. <laughs> that would be a, that'd be the banana dream. <laughs> I'd say the dream dream, but it wouldn't yeah. make sense. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. All right, man. So that is a that's quite a show they got going on there. It is the DIY almost DIY fest. It's not, not quite DIY, mm -hmm. uh, and that's happening October twenty <laughs> third, right. starting at two p.m. down at the conservatory. I believe you guys probably gonna be no help on this, but I believe they got two stages going on. Gonna have an outdoor stage up behind the conservatory, and then an indoor stage in the conservatory. So that's how they're fitting so many bands in. I believe. Yeah. So good times, so cool man. All original, yeah. all day long. Yeah, big props to uh, uh, to Justin uh, Level and all the guys uh, down there at the conservatory. You guys played the conservatory yet? Yeah, a few times. When a when, times. Uh, when was the last time you played there? Well, we played there once, right? It was just once. Yeah, yeah, we played there once, and Bryce wasn't there, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, we it was uh, like right after Bryce had let, surgery done. Let me guess, his other Achilles heel. <laughs> no, no, this no, was the same, same, same injury. <laughs> Still healing. But you was... got to get over to something. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to. No, it was like <laughs> really I, milking this I need thing. a magic, some sort of magic on my leg. It's... It was like right when it happened. So, yeah. and we I had the gig. Surgery. We still had the gig booked. So yeah. we were just like, we'll play it as a duo. It's fine. And we played as a duo a few times. There was a few schedule conflicts where Bryce couldn't make it at like some house parties and stuff. So we hit a little practice playing as a duo. Just between us, it shows how expendable he is. You know? <laughs> <laughs> they, they did it without me. So hey, you need some magic. Have your mom dip your heel in the river sticks. Okay, just my heel. That's right. Yeah, do the reverse. Yeah, yeah. yeah you gotcha. do the reverse Achilles. <laughs> and I think that uh, the, the mythical heel healing process will begin. I don't really know if it I'm, I'm willing to try anything at this point, so. <laughs> oh, well, in that case, meet me out back afterwards. I've got some, some lotion. <laughs> meet me by the dumpster around the back of the hotel, and we'll I'll, talk. I'll get right on that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what are you thinking bucks, somebody so. wanted to throw a brick at you? I actually, thought it was, I actually thought it was my nephew, funny enough. Really? I was in this gym, and my nephew was behind me, and they kept throwing this ball back and forth, and then... That was my first thought. Did Brady just throw a brick at me? That's why I look back. I don't know. Wow. He's, he's kind of a punk, but I give it back to him. He's extremely dangerous <laughs> and violent. Well, he's, okay, he's, so here's the big surprise. We've got Brandon backstage. <laughs> We're going to call Jerry Stringer on here. That'd be awesome. <laughs> no, he's got a bag of bricks. <laughs> he's got a bag of bricks. Like, why did you do it? Uh, <laughs> I don't, know why that, I don't know why that's where my mind went, but that was the first thing I thought. He's a pretty good kid. But he does have a good fastball. He's a pretty good baseball player. So. If he threw a brick, it probably would have hurt me. Really bad. <laughs> I bet it would have ripped your Achilles heel right in two, right? There sure. you go. Wow, so we are talking to Tanukis. They are a, uh, a local band. Now, you've only got the three of you in the band, but, but possibly thinking about a bass player. I don't know why. They're so overrated. <laughs> you know. Well, we have, we have a friend of ours who is probably going to join the band pretty soon uh, but not necessarily as a bass player he's just going to join as a member of the band because we're all you know shape-shifting multi-instrumentalist right. you know yeah. except bryce here except, <laughs> except bryce sit down the whole That's show right. well, I can't really no but bryce I'm sitting down. bryce could play anything too if he wanted to yeah. he's yeah. just he just likes to play guitar. <laughs> yeah. I'm most comfortable with guitar. I could probably I can do drums a little bit, and and Bryce I can, can play sing pretty well too. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. There you go, Bryce. You know you're looking better every minute. <laughs> <laughs> keep talking. You got any money? Uh, no, I wish I. Because you're I, getting I, cuter by the second. I've, 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 money I've, I've got a few kids, so I don't have that much money now. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> they take all that money. <laughs> yeah. Just say you're a four-piece band on your Facebook. Yeah, we, I need to show oh. that. <laughs> yeah, well, that's... Instagram's a little more Instagram's accurate. more accurate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we don't really use the Facebook page. <laughs> <laughs> we're on TikTok now. No, we, we, we're, we're, we don't really use social media a lot in general. Yeah. I don't blame you. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's a big sucking of time, it seems like, sometimes. Every time you jump on there to do one thing, you end up doing ten. <laughs> I don't right. know. Maybe just an hour later. Yeah, I'm right. with you. Yeah. yeah. You know, maybe I shouldn't smoke before I go. <laughs> on. I don't know. I always end up watching snake bite videos. You're know, like, ooh, why are you doing that? Get cobra. Oh, oh, you know, they're always like one click away. Yeah. I don't know. There's always that rabbit hole waiting for you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so would YouTube be social media? Because you met by seeing his video on YouTube. 
Yeah, I mean, that's so that's yeah. kind of how we met. I didn't know him at all before that, yeah. so... It was just someone kind of showed me the video, like, hey, this is... This, it's it's kind of a funny video. I mean, the song's not... It's sort of satire. It doesn't take itself too seriously. Well, it's plus, it's, it, the song didn't really propagate via social media, because I didn't really share it with anybody, like, on social media. Okay. Like, the, the song doesn't even have that many views, really. It's just, like... <laughs> Like, it was like a word of mouth thing. Like, people, I got people to share it, like, with their friends and stuff, mm-hmm. you know, that sort of thing. Right. So. Plus, Bryce was stalking you or something. Yeah. <laughs> it was just hosted on YouTube, but I didn't, like, share it. I didn't share the link, like, on the internet or anything. It was just, like, word of mouth, sort of. Gotcha. Gotcha. So that, and, and that's, uh, I'm going to go home and watch Worm. <laughs> what is it, like, three, three, four minute song? Yeah. yeah it's like see a, if you can hold my attention. It's like a three minute <laughs> song. The video is pretty good. The video is pretty funny. I like the video. Yeah, me and some friends from high school made the video uh, in like a day, and it was <laughs> a fun time. Awesome. Well, I'm gonna check out the video to Worm. I suggest everyone out there does the same, but then scrub your browser. <laughs> <laughs> this is stuff that you don't want to find, and I'm sure. Yes. Because I'm sure at some point, Joan is gonna show his Worm. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it, it may or may not be illegal. Yeah, that's, you, that's what I'm thinking. If you hey, watch. hey, hey, it's this is science. Oh, Sorry, your time is up. Your time wake is up. Wake up, Bryce. Wake up. Who made me up, man? <laughs> Even though you don't Edit prefer that. social media, you can be contacted on there because uh, you guys responded right away to me on Facebook, and uh, I appreciate that. I uh, was able to get a hold of you guys, so if people want to look you up, it's uh, Tanuki. That's T-A-N-U-K-I-S. Right. Uh, yeah, we're open Is to booking uh, children's birthday parties <laughs> and the like. Bar mitzvahs. <laughs> Bar mitzvahs, yeah. yeah. Weddings. Yeah. Quinceaneras. <laughs> and Instagram's another place, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There actually are. We do have some videos on there. If you can get a little bit of a feel for our sound, we yeah. just took some, you know, some recordings from practice and just put in some, some weird videos. So you could check out, get a little feel for our sound through that. And we've done a, done a few things, but. Hopefully, we're going to get some more professional recordings soon. So. Take in very psychedelic videos. <laughs> uh, well, you know, Bryce said earlier when I said you play guitar, he said, yeah, and do weird stuff. And <laughs> since then, uh, he's been getting a little handsy out of the table, but I've been pretty interested in him, you know. Like, I'm, I want to see the videos of you doing weird stuff. <laughs> I'm, I'm into weirdness, so. Okay. So do you do the videos for this band, too? Uh, no, I think we all have, like, a mild passing interest in weird videos yeah. i guess i don't none of us are like super yeah deep into it just yeah. like you know we should like to have some sort of something for people to listen to a little bit out there until until we get some recordings that's kind of what i why i think we kind of started it was you can get a little bit of a feel for what we sound like all right i'm gonna check them out i'm gonna go on youtube though not social media i bet i can find them all over there i don't <laughs> really know uh but, but what is your uh, what if people are looking for your facebook they just look up tanukis I bet you're the only Tanukis. Like a lot of bands have problems with having, you know, they, they pick their name and then there's, oh, there's another band with that name. You guys haven't had that trouble. Have I you? did find one, but they haven't been active for like three or four years. Are I they fe- in I Japan? Figured no. So right. I, f- I figured we'd be safe, though. If I, right. That's the only one I ever saw, so. <laughs> I, I think you're right. Yeah, I think they also might spell it differently. Or it might have been like the Tanukis or something. It might have been. Ours is, ours is just <laughs> yeah, like that, that was an argument we had at one point in time. I lost that argument. I wanted to be the Tanukis, but we outvoted them. Yeah, and and I've I've gotten over it. I'm fine with it. Should be <laughs> ah Tanukis. Ah Tanukis. No, no, it's it, Tanukis is way more mysterious, you know, because it's like it's like uh, Melvin's or Smashing Pumpkins. Like, is there a the or not? Like, right. it's just part of the mystery. <laughs> And it's a trickster. I, I, I Shape shifting raccoon dog with a very large scrotum <laughs> that I'm is used as a drum or possibly a weapon and now maybe a parachute. And, and just a, a sack, a tote sack. <laughs> what I use mine for. <laughs> yeah. Carry my seeds that I put out in the long I don't know what I Yeah, do it's it. also used as a scrotum. <laughs> <laughs> it's also used to house the testicles. Yes, no, I, I, I'm going to have to like call you on this one. You really think you could do that? I mean, come on. I can see all these other things. <sighs> you're, you're getting so you have a picture of this thing. Of a on tanuki? Your, on, yeah, on your Facebook page. Yeah. Is that something you created or found? No. no, I just found it. Yeah. I have done some artwork for probably will be our Al Martin, and it's all about Tanukis. I could show you guys when we're done, but it's I I dabble in art. 
There's a Miyazaki film about Tanuki. Yeah, I did. I did actually watch that. It's yeah. Oh, you watched it? Yeah, it's a yeah. trip. Yeah, it's probably <laughs> awesome. <laughs> it's pretty weird. It's about them like trying to get rid of people. Like the Tanukis are playing tricks on all the humans so they'll leave the forest alone. It's, wow, it's that's great. It's a trip. I want to watch it. <laughs> it's like an anime, but it's it's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> so, right. how did you guys come across this thing and name your band? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Bryce, Bryce go, picked the name actually. Well, it originally. goes back to another injury. So, <laughs> so I'm a meat cutter, and I cut a good part of my thumb off earlier on this year. So this has been a bad year as far as injuries for me. But I was stuck at home for like a couple weeks while it healed because you can't do much when you have a <laughs> totally severed thumb that they sewed back on. And I beat Super Mario Brothers three, and in it is the Mario Tanuki suit, right? Where Mario puts on the raccoon suit and can fly. And I was like, where did they come up with this? Like. And then actually, that that's how I figured out the mythology of it. I never really heard of it being an actual thing in Japan, but that's kind of how it started. I just beat the game, and I was like, hey, Tanuki, that's an interesting name. Yeah. Should do that for me, because we hadn't we didn't even really talked about names too much yet. Yeah, and at first I was apprehensive <laughs> of the name because uh, I was thinking, like, the Tanukis, and, like, I was thinking it would be spelled, like, T-A-O, or T-A-N-O-O-K-I-S. That's the Nintendo way or the American way. Yeah, but mm-hmm. then I realized if you take the the off and you spell, like, the Japanese way, then it's pretty badass. And also, <laughs> like, you know, the whole thing with, like, their shape-shifting. And, like, if you look up a picture of an actual Tanuki, like, they're really cute, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know what I find interesting about all that? What a clutch you are. Cutting your thumb <laughs> off, tearing your Achilles I'm a mess. Heel. Well, yeah. he, he, this is what I take out of the story. That's kind of what we take, too, is like we just, as so many things have gone kind of wrong with the band, but we just keep going. So yeah, like, Tanuki's, is also, Tanuki's is also short for technical difficulties. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just make that up? No. <laughs> yeah, all right. It's also, it it's also short. Well, never mind. <laughs> Google it. I'm, I'm going to Google it. And, and you I, can be on there for days reading about this. I'm going to go down the K-hole or rabbit hole or whatever <laughs> it takes to find out what a Tanuki is. That's kind of been our mantra, though. They, they're they shape-shifting, and they've got big big balls, and they're not afraid of getting out there and getting stuff done. So Nice. <laughs> you can check these guys out uh, this weekend, uh, the 23rd, at the Conservatory. It's part of the Not Quite DIY Fest. Uh, with the fade, Biff Gnarly and the Reptilians never go quietly. Hideous Gentleman, Sisser, Lofty's Comet, Daisy Chain, Nico, Bring Me the Fires, Bastard and the Crows, Pioneer Salesman, Colt Season. What are these guys called again? Tanukis. Tanukis! Ah! <laughs> Into the Blue, 86 Red, and Bo Diamond. That's a heck of a lineup going on there. Mm. All original at the Conservatory, and uh, I guess you can get tickets at the... Uh, Alton Exchange, right, the music store. Right. Right, and at uh, the conservatory. Yep. Or you can just go the day of and pay five bucks more. There you go, man. So. so everybody get down to the conservatory October 23rd. Again, music starting 2 p.m. So, you know, get out there and start day drinking. Why not? There's nothing else to do on October 23rd that I know of. Uh, anyway, uh, you, can, you can check out all these bands for, what, 20, 20 bucks in advance, 25 at the, at the yeah. door, I believe it is. So there you go. Uh, I want to thank Bryce Siever. Got it. There we go. Uh, Jonah Wiggenhorn, or Thomas, whatever you want to call <laughs> I don't know. And Stroud, just Stroud. I like that better. You're so, you know, you're easier than these guys. These guys are a pain in the butt. Stroud didn't talk much. <laughs> Can we change Jonah's name to Worm? Yeah. Worm Wigwam. Wiggenhorn. No, yeah, worm worm Wiggenhorn. Worm will be like my stage name when we transition to a black metal band. Oh, okay. Nice. There oh, you go. I'm into it. Yeah. You like Dune. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, I, I'm, I'm into that. I think Sting was in that movie, wasn't he? I don't remember. Anyway. Thank you. All right. Well, thanks to uh, the Tanukis, uh, Bryce, Jonah, and Stroud for coming down. Get out and check them out at the uh, Almost DIY, what is it called again? Not quite DIY. Not quite DIY, I said almost. Not quite DIY. The Conservatory. Fest at the Conservatory on October 23rd. Uh, Big thanks to uh, the Tanukis and Justin Level, who was in with us earlier before they were on. Uh, hopefully, if you will. I, I mean, this is recorded. He's we can imitate him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not Justin Level, but I play him on this radio show. <laughs> I'm coming out on this date. No, I, I don't know. Anyway. Just be like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Anytime they ask him a question, just one of us say that, and that'd be close. 
There you go. There you go. All right. Hey, thanks to all of you uh, for coming down and being guests on the show. Uh, hopefully, Dennis didn't scare you too bad, and you'll come <laughs> back again someday. Uh, Thanks for having us. This yeah. is fun. Yeah. Everybody get out and check out the Tanukis. Check them out on Facebook and uh, watch the worm video. <laughs> and get out and support local music and art.